explosion of ghost go. Just before we start this video guys, I want to give a massive shout out to one of my friends who made me my own Discord for the team and you guys are more than welcome to join. The link will be at the bottom of this video. As you can see here, we've got a very own race server set up where we get any news announcements, team kit downloads, all the previews of the kits that's been coming out with the helmets. Um, we compare lap times, we do team training days, we hints and tips, even a little bit of mental health stuff in there. Um, so you guys are more than welcome to join. There's a whole slew of content in there. Of course, please, you know, follow the rules and be respectful, but you're more than welcome to join. Talk to me, talk about ideas that you like within the MX Bikes community, what you'd like to see, um, you know, and, and, and it's just a place for us to come together and kind of grow this community and, and get better. So far, everyone in here has been fantastic. We've also had James Petch design every graphic and kit for every bike in the game so here we've got the 250s which is the honda which looks amazing we've also got the husky here uh that if i could pick anything out the numbers were a bit big but apart from that it's one of my favorites it's absolutely gorgeous the kit is insane we've also got the kawasaki which is obviously my favorite one uh from there standard fox kit across all which looks absolutely gorgeous the Suzuki, I didn't think I was a fan of Suzuki until I saw this. I absolutely love the Fox kit as well. All of the Fox kits are great. I haven't included the helmets on this, but there are helmets and there are gloves. So if you guys join the team, you can be a, you can run whatever bike you want with OBPK graphics. The camo looks sick with this TM. Um, I love the teal colouring in the back of all of it. And, and you guys can ride whatever bike you want with your own branding, which is amazing. I personally think the Yam Fox kit and the Yam setup is my favourite by far. That thing is just absolutely stunning. She is stunning and brave. Stunning. She is absolutely beautiful and an inspiration. Yep, yep that's right. And the KTM coming up here with the white handlebars. Uh, sorry, plastics look insane with the grips. But yeah, so you guys can download that as well. I'll put the link in there. It's all in our Discord. So I hope you guys can join and run the OBPK stuff. Awesome, let's do this. Hello and welcome to another MX Bikes video. So today uh, I have tested out every 250F in the game apart from the Alta because let's be honest, no one gives a shit about the Alta. Uh, to do a little bit of a comparison, this isn't a full 250F shootout. However, if that is something you guys want to see, I've got some really good ideas to up, set up a proper 250F setup with uh, uh, bringing in someone who knows a lot more about suspension than me uh, and kind of doing it like a little Racer X thing like they do when they have a 250F shootout. Um, but for now, I wanted to, to try every 250F in the game, set as fast as a lap as I could on Forest, and go from there. And the last one to try is the Kawasaki. So let's see what we can do over the next five to eight laps. As you can see, an explosion of ghosts. So the ghosts have a one second lead, and this gave me a really good opportunity to try all the 250Fs out, because I'm Kawasaki through and through. I just, growing up, my favorite riders were Ryan Vanapoto and Not That Fence. And, um, you know, all the pro circuit riders I, I really liked back in the day, Adam Cincerillo, and, and Kawasaki's just always stood out to me for whatever reason. What, even when I saw James Stewart on a 125, um, Kawasaki's just always stood out to me. So I, I defaulted, as you can see, as the YouTube channel is called, OBPK Kawasaki, to a, to a Kawasaki. And I've never really uh, given the other bikes their fair due. I've heard the Honda's good, I've heard other bikes are good. Um, so we did a little test, and I believe, we will check the lap times in a minute, I believe the TM and the Yamaha are winning at the moment, however, they were the last two I tried, so it could be that I've just had a lot of practice, um, and we can go through a proper 250F shootout, but this is a, a good opportunity to try them all. I really, oh hello, I really dislike the KTM and the Husky, they just felt heavy and they felt twitchy, but that could be down to setup and gearing. Uh, I did try the KTM first out of everything else, and the Kawasaki is last, so I want to see if I can actually get anywhere near this lap time, because it would be embarrassing if the one bike I ride the most doesn't come close. Really, oh god, we're just going down all the time, come on, get this together. Really surprised by the Suzuki, that felt really solid, although uh, lacking in the power department, but it felt just like it could handle everything. The Yamaha felt amazing, but it was really, really twitchy on big sends, like it bottomed out a lot and you would see the bike just kind of getting squarely near the bottom. Uh, the Honda was probably the bike I got on with most. Uh, that just seemed to do everything I wanted it to. And in fact, I set the lap time within two or three laps and barely made a mistake. I was just straight out the gate consistent. 
uh, whereas the KTM, the Yamaha and the Husky I was very inconsistent on. The TM, that was kind of like the middle ground, um, it kind of had a bit of everything, it felt like a, a slightly watered down version of the Kawasaki and the Honda. Obviously I've only had like 8 to 10 laps on these both and I'll show you some of the lap times in a second. I will try and focus here though to see if I can get anywhere near the lap times. Alright, let's do it. All the ghosts have a one second lead. Oh god, this could end badly. Yep, it did. Ah! That was that was going well then. This hasn't been a great showcase. <laughs> uh, it's funny, whenever you hit record, it always happens. That would have that would have been quick though, so we could just do the same again. Scrub that instead of sending it. I have changed my overall suspension setup and I think it might be a little too soft. Um so but I do need to go back to the drawing board and look at that a little bit. I tried to run the setups as close as I could with everything, so they've all got the same sag numbers, they've all got the same amount of fuel, I ran aggressive mapping on everything, uh, I dropped the tyre pressure by one in everything, uh, so I, I know there's differences between the two. Jesus Christ, get it together man, what is going on? Right, let's go back to pit, let's, let's reset this a little bit, let's reset this, this isn't good viewership material. Because I'm the pressure's on, the camera's on. We're not just flowing on the easiest track in the game. I chose Forest just because it's um it's a quick and easy track. I could have done one of the supercross tracks, but this is just a, a little fun little kind of test for all the 250Fs. Um, but yeah, I do think this setup's a little bit soft. The Yam really didn't like the suspension setup. It just seemed to bottom out. However, it had one of the fastest times. So I think if you set that up slightly differently. That potentially has the potential to be the best overall. The the power felt great. I did uh, I did run a slightly different map on that, so that could have made a difference. It was a more of a linear smooth map. I don't know how much the coupler actually makes a difference. I, I normally run aggressive on the 250F. Drive out of there. I do think. Of, ah, you little bastard! Ah, oh, come on! This I'm not a one clean out. I do think I need to um, give the Honda more of a chance there. Explosion of Ghost Go! I need to get one good lap in because this is embarrassing. The Honda, I just I come out straight away and didn't make a mistake. I just cranked out the laps and I, I put a, I put a fairly decent time in straight away so I just kind of left it at that. I do think that's one to explore a little bit more. The Suzuki felt really solid however um, it did feel a bit a bit heavy in the tighter corners like round sweepers and stuff it was really fast and over jumps and stuff it felt great but it just felt like a little bit heavy in, in those corners. All these bikes are running the OBPK Privateer Graphics and their own kit. So you know, as we mentioned in the disc for the Discord video earlier, get involved and you can run any brand you want with any style of kit you want, any helmet, all part of the OBPK team. And they, some of them look absolutely gorgeous. I, I really like the look of the Yam and the Husky. Um, yeah, they're just they're just all great. They, those those two are by much far my favourite though. Right, we have got to put in, we've done a 17.9, we can do a little bit better than that. If this one bike, if I can do the 106, it would be this one. I tried to be as fair as I can by not kind of deviating from lines and stuff. I thought 
take the same lines, do the same sort of thing, it's a bit more of a fair comparison. It wasn't a full shootout, but I, it definitely taught me some things about the bikes. I will explore more brands than just the Kawasaki. I can see why people use the Honda a lot. It's just so solid everywhere. The power delivery felt great. It felt really nimble and light, just even though it's last year, but I, I didn't give it its fair due. I think I went KTM then straight to Honda so I think if I redid another test and did the Honda last you'd probably see that win. 107.2, right let's try two more laps. Good thing about this, I put some laps in on the forest. Let's do this early track. Oh, hit the tyre wall. Uh, I think that's going to be that lap done. Right, let's finish this lap off then. And we'll have a little look at the times. <laughs> it's cool to see all those ghosts. Good way for you guys to practice as well, because you can kind of try out lines and bikes and all that stuff and uh, see, see what you like best. And you can kind of add as many ghosts as you want. I was going to do every CC of bike, but I think I'd have blown my brains out if I'd have done that. Like all the 125s, everything, pit bikes, 450s, the lot. Right, let's have a little look at the lap times. I just want to see the ghost one more time. Boom. So, let's, uh, let's see where everything landed. Let's go back to the old pity. Uh, what do we do there? 107.2, ideal 107.2. So let's save that. We go to trainer, save KX250F. Beautiful. Uh, let's add it. So as you can see here, I've gone, I'm pretty sure I went KTM, Honda, Husky, Suzuki, TM, Yam, KX250F. Um, and most probably it's less to do with the bikes and more of the fact I had a bit of practice on there. But they roughly fell between the 108 and 107. I do need to try the, the Honda again because I believe that that could easily shave a second off it quite comfortably. Uh, the Yam, I was up by 1.5 seconds, but I just, I just couldn't get consistency and... Oddly enough, I couldn't get it either on the Kawasaki, so uh, the one that really stood out to me, although it was one of the slowest here, um, was the Honda, but I did that within three laps, just bang, 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 108, 108, 108. Um, so I do think there's something to be said there that I could do a few more laps. Um, but if you guys are interested, I will do a deep dive on a proper KX2, KX250F, 250F shootout, uh, the same with the 450s, and maybe even compare some of the two strokes as well. It will take a bit of work, but I want to bring uh, one of my friends in from the team um, to talk about suspension, uh, and we'll kind of run like a base setup and talk about how the bikes are different, what they felt good at, use some B-roll footage in the background to show what they look like, and go from there. But as you can see, they all had their own skins, all custom designed by one of my friends, James Petch. So if you guys want to join the Discord, uh, use any of the skins, you are more than welcome to. Thank you very much for watching, and catch you next time.